NBC's Mike Mamoli live at the White House. Mike, what else is in the president's plan? Well, Shep, after a meeting with local law enforcement community leaders, the president reminded the group he's done this before. As the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee in the 1990s, he was the lead author of a crime bill that followed after a, a decline in crime rates across the country. Well, now the White House is preparing for yet another summer spike in violence. And so the president laid out his strategy uh, to keep guns off the streets and to keep cops on the beat. The president uh, taking a range of executive actions, including cracking down on background check enforcement from local fire, firearms dealers. He also called for a strike force on gun trafficking. Now, this is a president who, during the course of the 2020 campaign, went against the grain of his party in opposing the defund the police movement. And part of his plan would allow states and local governments to use COVID relief money, that $1.9 trillion package from March, to hire and train additional law enforcement. The politics of this issue have only hardened since Biden was a senator, and the president today trying to take the politics out of it. Take a listen. So this shouldn't be a red or blue issue. It's an American issue. We're not changing the Constitution. We're enforcing it, being reasonable. We're taking on the bad actors doing bad and dangerous things in our communities and to our country. The president's plan would also include jobs programs and, and providing more uh, job opportunities for recently incarcerated individuals. The president was asked after his remarks if he would do another campaign pledge, and that is renew a ban on the assault rifle. He said, I still hold out hope, Shep. Mike, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.